alone. This is an urgent message to Israel. Daniel the prophet, whom the Lord has allowed me to unlock, in, in, for sure, <laughs> indubitably, the truth is, Daniel 7, 5, the great grizzly Kodiak foaming at the mouth, rabid war. He has between his uh, teeth three ribs, and then he's told to take, eat his fill. That is Putin rising as the king of the north in Daniel 11. He has invaded the king of the south, just as it is written. And those three ribs, Israel, is... Crimea, Donsk, and the other Lutheran or whatever, it's, I can't even say it. That is the total fulfillment of what is going on. And thermonuclear war will end up on your shores. Zechariah says, and eyes will be consumed in their socket, tongues consumed their way in the mouth, and flesh consumed away before they have a chance to drop down. Not good. And your prophets have been 100% right. And so has Gregory Rasputin, Russian prophet to Russia, that they have nothing but doom and gloom ahead. Uh, the, whether you call him Yeshua, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, whatever, it does not matter. Rose, by any other name, smells as sweet. He was a loving person. He was loved. And he said, if it counts, Unless these days were cut short, no flesh could be saved. It is prophecy alone that opens the window of our hearts and understandings so we know what's ahead. We must beat the sword into the sickle. And I know how to do it on this latter-day mountain of 8,000 videos. You have inherited all mankind, and I am your covenant giver. I have given that covenant 8,000 times in 8,000 videos. And uh, just ignored uh, the messenger of the north, am I, Isaiah 41. But the rest of the world, it is written, will come to realize that I'm right about everything I'm saying. Because this has been preached since the beginning of the earth. That Shiloh would come holding the scepter of all authority. Uh, because he has eyes red and dull of wine. The alcoholic writer of the literal flying scroll of Zechariah 3. I am that alcoholic. Read it. I am the alcoholic foretold to bring the, the vision of God. The vision was written plainly on the tablet, so all those who, who readeth it, run! World War III is upon us. And that vision, he says, Behold, he whose soul is not upright, but the just will live by his faith, because we have all forgotten the truth that uh, Romans 3.10 has. And it's true for you, it's just as much for me and every man, including putrid Putin. There is no good man, no, not even one. We all have good and bad in us. It's the levels thereof. And if you let your light of love go right out, you commit the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, and you would perish. So in this hour, it is vital to hear the word of a prophet, because in order to cut time short, the people of Russia will believe uh, Rasputin because he prophesied the Tsar Nicholas and Aunt Alexander being slaughtered and their whole families within two years of his murder. And man, was he a hard man to put down. They, first they poisoned him, then they stabbed him, then they shot him twice, and then they finally drowned him and he still didn't die. Uh, he, they found water in his lungs. He was alive when they threw him under the ice. So blessed are all those finding God's heart to be their everlasting source of love and the infinite uh, ocean of his everlasting mercy. For they'll come to clearly see that the vision of Habakkuk 2 in the Jewish Bible unadulterated foretold one who would be as greedy as hell embracing all people of the world as he preaches under many flags as if they were all the only ones left upon earth. As hellish fires of death come forth from the stinky new one that Putin has cut deeply into the world. Now he's threatening Finland and uh, Sweden with military action. The guy is uh, insane. And according to Daniel 11, he does commit uh, 
blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, and he will be cast into the outer darkness where weeping and gnashing of teeth, and uh, his teeth will be worn down to a powder in the name of uh, love rejected. There is no worse curse upon this earth than love rejected. So it's the hour of heaven's strongest power and biggest magnifying glass when the wise will finally remember that all people have long ago forgotten the truth that there is no good man and we need to stop judging one another. Otherwise, we're, we've had now a tragedy of spiritual Alzheimer's that's revealing in this hour uh, that uh, a critical and judgmental Pharisees uh, who have a war mentality, warmonger, they are just unloving hypocrites by the word's biggest magnifying glass of utter truth. Uh, the, the Jesus that guy has is a false Jesus. The true God cannot forgive the unforgivable sin. He will perish as it is written. And since there are so many twisted, shallow people in the world, grace has disappeared, and there's next to no faith and love anymore. And hope is there none, for even the most stupid stupids only want to hug on to ignorance that, that will become the marker upon their graves. So let the wise now receive love from love, hope from hope, faith from faith, and overflowing, mer overflowing mercy from our Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, who now comes forth upon the great white cloud of the utter magnificence of the greatest beneficence of his everlasting blessedness. And it is written, it says this in Jeremiah 30, 24, this shall be considered in the latter days. I, the Lord God of mercy, saith unto Israel and all mankind, because all Israel, you are Chrislam. That is God's new name that God has given you in the appointed time when you have inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54, 3 has been true because he says to you, Israel, I will be your God. You will be my people. You are now. And I will forgive all your iniquity. Never remember it. Write my love and law in all the people of the world's hearts. And none shall even need to be taught about me anymore. Once you know his unconditional love over us and he's always had our backs, what more is there to learn about love? But um, so it's time for the greatest warning unto uh, Israel who shall suffer greatly at Armageddon uh, if this does not turn around. We are racing there. But God promises he will cut time short if people will listen to the messenger of love who I am. So I should not be ignored when I'm the only secret weapon the Lord has sent the world. I am his one with a sharp tongue of uh, Isaiah 28, line by line, precept by precept. Would the strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm with the appointment of Jeremiah 110, Haggai 2, 2, to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations, not built solely upon the Lord's unconditional love. Uh, the Bible has always been a testament to man's unity, man's brotherhood, but people couldn't see it for the forest of trees of doubt in the way. So it's time that... Uh, uh, now kingdom age hopes can arise in these end times because the prophet Rasputin strongly stressed that those of Serbia would find their motherland turned into a widow. Ukraine would be as a mausoleum. Uh, and, oh my God, I don't even like the sound of this. And the But the glory of Latvia shall s shine as a solemn sepulcher as Romania becomes a great coffin for idiots that wouldn't use their heart of hearts. But woe unto uh, Hungary, for none shall uh, ever eat there again. And woe unto the boot that Italy gets, and the curse of Spain, and the England scourge. Uh, Estonia shall then become only a lost mer memory, and Latvia but a busted dream. For only Lithuania alone shall shine as the stars after Putin's thermonuclear warhead removes them like corpses floating out to sea. So blessed are all those finding God's most passionate love that he foretold that would be poured out upon all flesh in the prophet Joel. For such delighted souls of fire shall clearly see that if they were once lukewarm of their love, that they need to become fervent. And it's time to, to transform and mount up to the highest perfection. Therefore, most blessed are all those of love who understands that if we forgive too freely, because of our ignorance, the one forgiven never stays forgiven. 
forgiveness. Uh, and as bitterness eats, uh, repenting people that were sorry they forgave somebody. And that's what this world is like. It's a meanest cancer that's looking to eat us from within. So in order for such horrific things uh, as World War III to be cut short, people first off must stand still and see the salvation of love. He is whispering now to all heart, peace be still. And so let those of truth receive good tidings from our roaring lion of Zion for in these days of Daniel 11 being unlocked for all to understand, all may freely receive mercy from mercy and faith from our living faith as they embrace a beautiful new future of a world at peace, exactly as John Lennon foretold in his uh, prophecy uh, called Imagine. But as Malachi 2.3 warns, and he says unto all of Israel, if nobody listens to the recorded prophecy that Daniel is constantly publishing in order to cut time short, as our majesty of majesties clearly instructed in Matthew 24, 22, then it is clearly written that the Lord God, Jehovah Nisi, the banner of anger over Israel, shall give millions of them a real awful shit pie made out of the dung from their very own rotten feasts. So woe unto all those tuning out this channel of prophecy, for they'll be embracing their very own demise since these days of World War III are foretold to be awful days of millions passing away, days of many uh, unmarked new graves, seasons of plentiful executions, and a real shitty period when the Grim Reaper uh, has never been more happy and never been more excited for in these days of the revealed beast of Daniel. And by the way, the law lawless one is a sword swallower who would die by a sword. There is another Antichrist that people did not see. And so these are the days when the eternally disgraced name of putrid Putin shall cause the eternal sleep for all those not letting their love to awaken. Woe shall eclipse the blackened sun of man's total apostasy as the future sadly unfolds days of horror, times of massive ex uh, extinction, and the absolute finish of all life as it's ever been known upon this fading planet. For by continued ignorance unto our Lord's instructions to beat your swords into sickles, as Isaiah 2 and Micah 4 commands, uh, the stupid is, the stupid does crowd will get to... Uh, Behold, to their utter horror, uh, Austria becoming a graveyard, uh, Belarus becoming a crematorium. Germany shall have mountains of ashes from mountains of corpses that will make Auschwitz seem like a little kid's sandbox instead. Then Bulgaria shall become a huge morgue that, that even the revealed lawless one morgue official of YouTube fame would be mighty proud of, as the false prophet Dr. David Awar calls down the magical miracle counterfeits from heaven in the sight of multitudes, but blessed, says the Lord, shall be Poland, for she will be like a most beautiful funeral parlor, putting out the closed sign, because her people's blazing spirits of love could never be killed off by any madman, uh, his blasphemous attack on all that is good, decent, and worthy of joyful celebration. For loving people of Poland still remember the prophetic words of the son of Poland, Pope John Paul, who said with a grave tone that in these latter days the world would be standing in the face of the greatest historical confrontation that humanity has ever experienced. And he clearly foresaw that all of us as one race, no difference between Jew and Gentile at all, would suddenly stop going two steps forward and one step back. Because if you keep doing that, you're still going in the right direction. But he foresaw that we would stop. For that Polish pontiff well knew that only unity alone could bring us love's very best victory, which would yet lead us to the promised days of our golden kingdom age. And for that cause, that son of Poland said by the Holy Spirit, that love pleads with all of us to never, ever, never give up on hope, to never doubt, to never tire, and to never become discouraged. And for all of us not to be afraid as we let his most perfect love cast away our very worst fright of these darkest days of uh, the truest truths. And concerning uh, that love, and he was the son of Car Carol with a K, and Amelia, and concerning that son, the eagle and the dove, along with their lion and the lamb, also cautioned all people 
that if his living word uh, keeps being ignored, then the world will be at the brink of doomsday's finest hour of the beginning of our end, because in that event, we would have begun walking backwards by going two steps backwards and only one step forward day after day. And as the mystic seer Rasputin prophesied, the whole flock of man must now turn on a dime uh, and follow the leader. And I am the leader. I am the one with shocking, stammering lips, Isaiah 28. Because it has to be to reverse our curse. Uh, because uh, the wheat and the tares can never grow together uh, in these days of Elijah. And I am not the original Elijah. He is still coming, according to prophecy. Uh, and uh, I am the other Elijah, the alcoholic foretold. But Rasputin said that the king of the north, the evil predator, cat, the cat of abomination, he would chase the Russian rats until they transformed into mice. And when they transform into mice, then they would eat the cat and uh, eat that crazy cat. So by the spirit of overflowing hope ablaze, the messages of many seers of our future have now come forth, and they're all in agreement that the rabid Kodiak of Russia is arising uh, with foaming insolence from its slobbery mouth, dripping its slimiest drool from off its fangs, where it is chomping down like a pissed off grizzly on those three ribs of uh, Crimea and the two that he just annexed, because he wants to suck the marrow right out of it. For that great bear of the Soviet Union of Daniel 7-5 has risen from the world's craziest sea of insanity gone really, really loco. And it is chewing down real hard on those bones that are that are those three annexed uh, places. Uh, and it's time that we understand what it is the Lord is doing. And we cannot understand our place unless we look at prophecy. Even Nostradamus declared that blood, human bodies, red and water, and a hell of our angry heavens would be falling uh, on our all loveless and hopeless souls worldwide. Nor should even the foolish ever forget Baba Banga, the famous blind Bulgarian prophetess, who rightly said that many more cataclysm and uh, turbulent events would come unto us if we won't uh, uh, receive ancient teaching that will come back unto all who still gives a, a damn. And she also rightly predicted that demons would first divide Russia, then weaken it, and then uh, begin to plunder it. And everyone would come to think that Russia is totally kaput until God's miracle of the latter Elijah appears so that the, the sign of Jonah comes forth in the heavens where YouTube videos are flying as the flying scroll. And this is the time when the great Kodiak can finally transform back into a teddy bear named Fuzzy Wuzzy, as love will then pr prove to preserve Russia if she will be obedient unto the voice of love. And by prophecy, it's also clearly foretold that the Third World War would be a very terrible and destructive one. And it says very few people would remain on earth. And as Isaiah 4 says, there'll be so few men left alive, seven women uh, will grab one guy, and the guy won't mind. <laughs> a little like Muhammad and Rasputin, that guy was a crazy. But God loves us all, and there is no good man. Concerning prophecy, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Uh, it is written that it, all that is good must be embraced and inspected most carefully, not just thrown away. Muhammad said to the world, he said, uh, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the gospel of love, uh, the uh, law, and all revelation coming to you from the Lord. So please hear the, the rest of the next video, the continuation, even stronger than this video, I guarantee you. So know that Russia, it was foretold, would become the worst horror of war a very fast rocket war, after which everything would be poisoned several meters into the ground. The bomb that Russia's going to drop is a hundred times stronger than uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima people, be warned. And it will be very difficult for those remaining alive because the earth will no longer even be able to give birth. And it came to pass that Veronica Lukin, a very well-known seer, she prophesied that it would be really dark all over Europe as Daniel 11's King of the North, Mr. Putrid Punin, 
uh, causes nothing but continual horrors to intensify as intense carnage grows stronger. Uh, and if the world's people keep ignoring our Lord of Love's prophetic word, because only that can cut time short to change our future, then uh, he, we are warned of the suffering of all nations. Uh, she said it would become so terrible that the living would begin really envying the dead. For as Rasputin also saw, uh, she said that there would be mountains of corpses, uh, that human blood would be flowing so much like a river uh, that uh, the depths of the Black Sea would end up being muddied with blood. And then the oxen all over the circle of the earth would be crying out together along with the stones and rocks as all cry out for peace. And she swore by the word of peace that those signs would drive homeless people in towards the most embittered state of suicide because without love, hope, and peace, all people only just end up losing their minds, all that are now being blown all apart by President Putin's stinkiest farts that are coming out freely from his mouth. But they'll also lose all meaning to life and millions would end up crashing and burning early physically, emotionally, and spiritually since death is starting to grip miserable minds all over the circle of the earth, a bunch of scared people that a madman with a red button knows how to press it. And in these last days, she said it would race to the hour of justice when atrocities born out of Russians' Vlad would consume them uh, like a great sea of quicksand made entirely from Earth's uh, new impaler's gigantic new one that the Putin has personally cut into our globe's stinkiest rectal area, which Russia is surely uh, going to become. And neither could there ever be any doubt that in the mouths of several anointed witnesses has the everlasting gospel truth about World War III finally been established by the living word of God. For the time has come in Europe when billions shall feel the weight of Putin's most bloody hands over his little red button as he rules a nation of fools uh, with hatred and malice for all, but not all the protesters. Those are people of love. Those are, uh, this is not their war, and they don't want it. There was no democracy here. There was no voice, uh, vote. Should we go to war against people that have not provoked us? <sighs> He's a son of a bitch. Know as well by the spirit of hope that the warning message of 1917's Fatima was a gospel truth that Russia's infamous Russian mystic Rasputin also clearly echoed and foretold in 1914 as well. For it came to pass that Grigory Rasputin, um, he foretold a great sea of fire which seemed to be under the earth, and plunged within that fire would be many demons in human form, like transparent burning embers, all black and bronze, all floating up around in the hottest wind of hell ablaze that keeps coming out of Putin's butt, his nose, and uh, mouth all at the same time, like the stinkiest shit and vomit all rolled in together as just an abhorrence of uh, just grossness, as he keeps lying to his own foolish people. As, and every time he does, his dick grows bigger. Uh, he's the biggest S&M guy I've ever heard of. Uh, I don't even want to know about the leather uh, and change and handcuffs for that guy. And understand that all believers in his most foolish fantasy of a new sickle and hammer flag shall find winds uh, and flames coming forth from within themselves, together with great clouds of inner smoke of hatred and seething racism and uh, unlovingness unless we stop and smell the roses of love. And then we would all be forced to fall back into the furious fires of our own ignorance uh, without weight or without equilibrium as we all lose balance. And as it is written, such kaput demons in the flesh, they shall die real hard admit sh in the middle of shrieks and groans of pain and despair which horrifies even every monster even to make monsters tremble with fear and the lady of fatima also stressed that if russia was not converted unto love she would spread death all throughout the world and various nations like israel will be almost pretty well totally annihilated that is what's coming russia uh that is what's coming israel is the fulfillment of all biblical prophecy because the uh, the, the Hebrew prophets, man, 
Uh, Isaiah walked around for three and a half years naked to be humble enough to receive the, the unmistakable truths of that, that we have nothing but desolate heritages, Isaiah 49, 8. And as the uh, prophet Zechariah foretold in these days, exactly as Noah, in days where there will be no fish, no birds, no mankind left on earth, Zephaniah 1.1. 1, 1. In these days, uh, he foretold that it would end with a nuclear bomb and that the air would be so polluted that nobody could ever even draw a breath without oxygen masks. And he said that there would be lakes of oil and blood, thousands of corpses and empty burnt cities so love will either have love's most perfect way in this world, or our whole globe instead shall be consumed by the most horrific fires of World War III, as Gregory Rasputin prophesied. And he was extremely accurate when he told the Russian Tsar they would all be killed, uh, all his whole family by the Russian people within two years happened exactly as he said. So people better heed the word of love's greatest conquering hope, uh, because everyone's going to win by love or the whole world shall lose uh, by love and by the most volatile, fervent hatred of spiritual anim animosity. For such is the byproduct of all fools committing spiritual suicide, committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, as it was foretold for Vlad the Impaler, the new one in Daniel, uh, for the king of the north, who is foretold as the beast. Uh, and so Rasputin named Russia's leader, uh, they, uh, uh, he, he named Putin a cat of abhorrence and a predator of loathing apostasy who serves a false god of love uh, while falsely believing uh, that his unforgivable sin would be forgiven by that false god. But in reality, our Lord of, uh, of love can't forgive such heresy of foolish, unloving souls committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable sin. And for that cause, the world's newest Vlad, the Impaler, is now daring to walk by the hellish light of the most bitter antagonism as he threatens countries like uh, Finland and Sweden now with military action. Where is it going to stop? I know. <laughs> well, much worse than World War II, people. And uh, so these are the days for fools like him to be put down, uh, people that are calling good evil and evil good. He had to start a war to ensure the peace that he already had before he started the war. And Our Lady of Fatima also sent the holy message uh, that the Lord in these latter days would be sending his people of love uh, a, a, an angel with a flaming sword in his left hand flashing and it, it was giving out flames looking like they could set the whole world on fire at the three described the vision of Fatima said uh, and within their vision suddenly the flame just died out the second it made contact with the splendor of Our Lady who was radiating towards them the glory of love as the angel cried out in a loud voice unto Russia repent 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 so let the wise now understand that Russia's kingdom age prophet Rasputin spoke in absolutes about Putin being the king of the north in Daniel 11, who had j j already now just walked over the king of the south to kill many brothers of other mothers. Woe therefore unto Russia, for their leader of Daniel, Daniel's king of the north prophecy has fully manifested, and it is foretold that end time beast of the prophecy of World War III would come unto you, Israel, in your own backyard and in the world as it has been known. And all people will have to go into the rocks of the bunkers of the, but not the poor people. The poor people have to die because they don't have the money that the rich had. So these are the days uh, that the the pride of that lion's den, Daniel, the original prophet, uh, he foretold that uh, disgraced son of Vladimir Putin Sr. and Maria Putina would be cast down into the deepest depths of deprivation as his rotting soul descends down from the frozen Nevka to the frigid, comfortable place where that madman can awake in hell besides the river Styx. For that cold-blooded killer of killers has committed the unforgivable sin while embracing the darkest and gloomiest gloom of Tartarus uh, that's fully possessed him as a human demon 
in the flesh. And due to that king's utter foolishness, it's written that he'll be causing seven insane nations to arise against the eagle with one head as seven more smart ones decapitate the phoenix with two heads like it happened unto the three-headed Ghidorah in the Godzilla movies. But before the final axe of hope falls, the fleeting vanity of vanities will cause both birds to defend themselves passionately, furiously, and viciously with their talons until the phoenix could never rise again, and their wings will try to protect their people until that fang, fang dragon is sliced and diced and cut off. And so it is time, and uh, it's time. Israel, it's time to pray. And hey, and get that Eliza chair ready for me because I'm the only Eliza you want. If the two witness Eliza comes back, death is gonna flow big time. We got a chance to change now to beat the sword into the sickle now. These are the days of COVID, the, the revelation of the trial of all flesh that has come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change.